In this lecture, we will see the schematic diagram of a 3 input NOR gate and then we will find the twister schematic from the normal schematic diagram and then we will draw the layout from these two schematic diagram. So at first let's see the symbol and what is A3 input NOR gate. a 3 input NOR gate. When I say 3 input NOR gate then the number of inputs will be then certainly my number of inputs will be 3 is 3 and output is 1 okay so let the three inputs be a b and c the output is z so nor means or plus not or means a plus b plus c not means the inversion of this which will give a plus b plus c bar so z is nothing but a plus b plus c bar this is a plus c a plus b plus c bar okay since there are three inputs so the number of pmos and nmos will be number of PMOS will be 3 and the number of NMOS will be also 3. When there is a plus operator, the NMOS is in parallel. and the PMOS is in series now let's see the truth table of a 3 input NOR gate the truth table of a 3 input NOR gate it's A B C so I can say it's A plus B plus C then A plus B plus C bar that is what the output of the NOR gate Now, this is in the table form. Put 0, 0, 0, when 3 inputs are 0, or output is 0, and the invert the output will be 1. 
when it's 0 0 1 the output is 1 not output is 0 0 1 0 output is 1 this is 0 0 1 1 output 1 0 1 0 0 output 1 0 1 0 1 output 1 0 1 1 0 output 1 0 1 1 1 output is 1 this is 0 So this clearly means that when all the inputs are 0, when a is equal to b is equal to c is equal to 0, then we'll obtain the output as 1. In all other cases, the output will be 0. schematic of free input nor the schematic diagram of a three input nor gate is you know that the P MOS is in series and the N MOS is in parallel. So there are three inputs. So there will be three P MOS in series. This is VDD and the three NMOS will be in parallel this is ground if this is input A then This is input A. This is input V. And this is the input C. This is A, B, and C. Okay. Now, this is P1, this is P2, this is P3, this is N1, N2, and this is N3. After labeling the PMOS and NMOS, now let's see which is the terminals that is sources and gates the source of the source of PMOS is connected to VDD and the source of And MOS is connected to ground. So this is source of P1. This is drain of P1. Now, before labeling this, this is the gate of P1. 
we know that the output is obtained at the drain terminal so this is the common drain so this is the drain of P3 this is the source of P3 this is the source of P2 this is the drain of P2 this is gate of P2 this is gate of P3 now labeling the NMOS will be very easy this is gate of N1 gate of N2 and gate of N3 output is obtained at the drain so this is drain of N1 this is drain of N2 this is drain of N3 this is source of N1 this is source of N2 and this is source of N3 you know the sources of NMOS are connected to ground now after seeing the schematic diagram of a 3 input NOR gate now let's see the explanation for the truth table that is apply the input to the this is the input A, B, C and there is the output Z this is the output output is obtained from the common drain position or you can just extend this Z is the output one has to know why the outputs are obtained the, the output that we have obtained in the truth table one should verify whether it is correct or not after implementing on the schematic so let's see the explanation of the truth table we'll see one by one condition the first condition is the first condition is when a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 0 when all the three inputs are 0 A input is given at the gate of P1 and 1 B at P2 and 2 and this at P3 and 3 we'll see the twister schematic later on this is P3 and 3 the input if it's 0 then PMOS is on turns on and the NMOS turns off when input is 1 the PMOS turns off and the NMOS is on ok so when three inputs are zero, then P1, P2, and P3 are activated while N1, N2, and N3 turn off. So P1, P2, and P3, they are on. N1, N2, and N3, they turn off. If the MOS turns on then it's represented by the short circuit and when it turns off it gets open circuited
Now, P1, P2 and P3, the turn on. In this case, P1, P2 and P3, they are this is P1 this is P2 and this is P3 this is VDD N1, N2 and N3 are in parallel so they are open circuited and this is connected to ground the output is obtained from here this is N1 N2 this is N3 so you can see here all the PMOS they are short circuit and all the NMOS are open circuited So this passage or this path is completely blocked from these three and even though the three are in series all these are short circuited. So path is created here and the output obtained at Z will be VDD or you can set this as high voltage or 1 so when A is equal to 0 B is equal to 0 C is equal to 0 then the output obtained is 1 so this is the first condition that is satisfied now let's see the rest The second one is when A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0, C is equal to 1. A is equal to 0, this is P1 and 1, this is P2 and 2, this is P3 and 3. When A is 0, P1 will turn on. When B is 0, P2 will turn on. When C is equal to 1, then the NMOS will turn on. So in this case, P1, P2 and N3, they will turn on. Then P3, N1 and N2 will turn off. So now these three will be short circuited. This will be short circuited. And this will be open circuited. So P1, P2, they are short. So this is P1. This is P2, P3 is open, then N1 is open, N2 is open, N3 is short. This is ground, P1, P2, P3, N1, N2, N3, this is the output, Z. Now, even though P1 and P2 are short circuited, P3 is open circuit. 
so this will block the high voltage then here in N1, N2 and N3 N1 and N2 are open circuit while N3 is short circuit and N3 is in parallel with N1 and N2 so this is independent of N1 and N2 so the path will be created from here to the output so the output obtain Z we can write as ground or low voltage or let's say 0 so when A is equal to 0 B is equal to 0 C is equal to 1 then the output obtained will be 1 sorry this is 0 output obtained will be 0 now let's see the third condition the third condition when a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 c is equal to 0 this is p1 n1 this is P2 and this is N2. This is P3 and N3. When A is 0, then P1 will turn on. When B is 1, N2 will turn on. When C is 0, P3 will turn on. So in this case, P1 then P1 P1 then P3 and this is P3 and N2 will turn on then P3 then P2 N1 and N3 they will turn off So this is represented by short circuit it's P1, P3 and N2 when they turn on. Then this is represented by short circuit and then this by open circuit. So P1 P2 is open then P3 is again short N1 open N2 is short then N3 is again This is P1, this is P2, this is P3, N1, N2, N3. Now in this case, P2 will block the flow of high voltage. So in NMOS, N1 is short, uh, it's open circuited, N3 is open circuited but since they are in parallel with N2 which is short circuit then the output obtained will be Z is equal to ground or let's say it's low voltage or 0 so when A is equal to 0 B is equal to 1 C is equal to 0 then Z is equal to zero now let's see the next condition the fourth condition when a is equal to zero 
and b is equal to 1 and c is also equal to 1 this is p1 n1 p2 n2 then this is p3 and n3 c1 is here with p3 and n3 when a is 0 p1 will turn on when b is 1 n2 will turn on and when c is 1 n3 will turn on so p1 n2 and n3 they will turn on P2, P3 and N1 they will turn off. So this is represented by short circuit. And this by open circuit. Okay. So now P1 is short. P2 and P3 are open. So P1 is short. P2 and P3 are open. This is P2 and this is P3. Now N1, N2 and N3 n1 is open or it's turned off while n2 and n3 is on so this is open circuit n1 is open circuit n2 is on as well as n3 is also on this is n2 and this is n3 this is the output Z. So here P2 and P3 they create a blocking over here. Here N, N1 is open circuit but N2 and N3 are short circuited. So you get a path from here. So Z is again ground or low low voltage or 0 so when a is equal to 1 a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 c is equal to 1 then the opt-in output is 0 in the next condition when a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 c is equal to 0 when a is 1 p1 and 1 P2 N2, P3 N3. A is 1 means N1 will turn on. B is 0 means P2 will turn on. C is 0 means P3 will turn on. So here P2, P3 and N1 will turn on. Then P1, N2 and N3 they will turn off. So these three will be short circuited and these three will be open so p1 is open this is p1 this is vdd this is p1 open p2 shorted p2 shorted then p3 shorted now n1 shorted n2 and n3 will be open this is ground this is n2 this is n3 this is the output z so here even though p2 and p3 are short circuit this is a open circuit so this will block the high voltage even though p2 and p3 are short circuit because they are in series but here n1 is short circuit short circuited so it creates a path 
or it connects the low voltage with the output so Z is ground again or you can say low low voltage or you can say it's zero so when A is equal to 1 B is equal to 0 C is equal to 0 then the obtained output will be 0 now let's see the next condition when A is equal to 1 B is equal to 0 C is equal to 1 P1 and 1 P2 and 2 then C1 P3 and N3 this is P3 this is N3 when A is 1 N1 will turn on when B is 0 P2 will turn on when C is 1 then N3 will turn on so P2 N1 and N3 will turn on P1 P3 and N2 will turn off so this is short and this is so now P1 is open P1 is open P2 is short P3 is again open this is 1 2 3 N1 short N2 open N3 short then certain there will be a blocking over here and this will flow in the output so Z is again ground you can say low voltage or zero so when A is equal to 1 B is equal to 0 C is equal to 1 the obtained output will be 0 now let's see the seventh condition when A is equal to 1 B is equal to 1 C is equal to 0 this is P1 N1 this is P2 N2 this is P3 N3 when A is 1 N1 will turn on B1 N2 will turn on C0 P3 will turn on so N1 N2 P3 will turn on N3 P1 and P2 will turn off turn off so now this is represented by short and this open so now P1 and P2 if they are off then this is open circuited and P3 is on then short this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and 1 is on and 2 is on and 3 is open this is ground this is VDD this is the output Z so here there is a blocking this blocks the high voltage here same n 1 2 3 3 is open circuit while these two are short circuit and they're they're independent of the third and mos so the output will be ground or low voltage 
or 0. So when a is 1, b is 1, c is 0, then the obtained output is 0. Now let's see the last condition. Last condition that is when all the inputs are 1. When a is 1, b is 1 and c is 1. So this is p1 and 1, this is p2 and 2, this is p3 and 3. When all are 1, only the nmos will turn on that is n1, n2 and n3 will turn on all the PMOS will turn off so all this will be shorted and all this will be open circuit so this is P1 this is the condition of P2 condition of P3 So now this is N1, N2, N3, ground, VDD, this is Z, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, so totally all these are open circuited and all things are short circuited then the output will be again ground so z is ground or you can say low value or zero so when a is one b is one c is one the obtained output is zero so now all the inputs that are given have this correct outputs so now let's see the twisted schematic the twisted schematic diagram of a three input nor gate This is the twisted schematic diagram. The twisted schematic diagram is done as there are three P MOS and three N MOS. So draw first the three P MOS, then the three N MOS. Okay, now just name them as P1, P2, P3, N1, N2, and N3. Now, this is the source of P1, this is the drain, this is the source of P2, this is the drain, this is again the source of P3, this is the drain. This is source of N1, drain of N1, source of N2, drain of N2, source of N3 and drain of N3. Now, the source is connected to VDD. Okay. Now, the drain is connected the drain of P1 is connected with the source of P2. Drain is connected to source. Now all the three drains of the NMOS are connected. Mm -hmm. 
finally connected with this train and this is the final output Z all these are connected and this is the output Z D D D connected now all the sources are connected to ground source 1 2 and 3 all 3 are connected to ground the gate of NMOS and PMOS are connected this is input A this is input B and this is input C so this is the twister schematic diagram of a 3 input NOR gate now this is a very simplified schematic diagram and we'll draw the layout exactly in this manner let's draw the layout from the twister schematic layout from twister schematic layout from the twister schematic diagram first we have to draw the three PMOS that is in magic the layout the PMOS is constructed by the N well and then the P diffusion. So this is the N well layer. then there is a P diffusion layer we are taking a single P diffusion because in our schematic diagram we can see that the source of the first PMOS is connected to VDD then its drain is connected to the next PMOS source then the next PMOS source is connected with drain so we just make we take one P diffusion so that it's easy to find a common point. So this is the P diffusion layer or the P diff layer. We have the N diffusion layer. N diffusion layer is not taken in a single layer it's not taken in a single layer because we need three NMOS and they do not have only the drains are shorter if you want you can even do that but I'll take three NMOS so this is one This is one. This is the second one. And this is the third one. This is the end diffusion layer. This is the end diffusion layer. 
or you can write it as endif. Okay. Now we have to short the gate terminals. So gate terminal is drawn with the help of poly. This is input A. This is input B. This is input C. So this is the polylayer. Now after drawing the gate terminal next you have to find the source so this is the first PMOS and MOS this is this is the second PMOS and MOS this is the third PMOS and NMOS this is the source of the first PMOS drain of first PMOS source of second PMOS source drain of second PMOS source of third PMOS drain of third PMOS similarly source drain source drain and source drain these are the gate terminals that are already connected with the help of polylayer then the source of the first PMOS is connected to VDD it is connected to VDD then then the source of these three are connected to ground these are connected to ground so this is metal one write it later on so this is the reason why we have taken a single p diffusion because we did not short source and drain if you take separately if you take if you separate this p diffusion then you have to connect the source and drain then here again source and drain so we have taken a common source and drain you could have even done with this also if you place the drain over here source over here then that could have been done also now all the three drains are shorted They are shorted with this string. This is the output Z. This is metal 1. This is the layout from the twisted schematic diagram. Now we have to place the contacts. Here, in order to connect this metal with the P diffusion layer, you have to place a P diffusion contact. It's PDC. Similarly, you have to place over here also. This is a P diffusion contact. or you can write it as P D C similarly we need here the 
एंड डिफ्यूजन कॉन्टैक्ट You could have taken a single one actually. So these are the end diffusion contact. or call the NDC now here we have to place the substrate contacts this is the P substrate contact Oh, you write it as PWC and this is the N substrate contact this is the can write it over here it's the end substrate contact this is the end substrate contact or you can write it as the NWC contact so this is the layout from the twister schematic diagram now let's see let's see the layout from the untwisted schematic layout from untwisted schematic so there won't be any space so let me not write the heading untwisted schematic means directly as there was the schematic suppose this is the first envel this is the second envel this is the third envel suppose these are the envel and we'll have the three and diffusion layers this are uh, the this is the end diffusion layer okay now we have we have to place the P diffusion layer This is the P diffusion layer. Okay. Now you have to place the contact, uh, the poly, poly layer. That is from here. To here. this is input A then from here input B then this is the third input C Now you will connect this to VDD. This is connected to VDD. These three 
are are connected to ground so this is then this is connected this is connected these three are connected I'm just placing a single line I have to place the whole layer this is the output Z three input similarly you have to place the contacts I used to place earlier here the PDC contact then here the NWEL contact similarly here also the PDC PDC and wherever you need a contact you have to place a contact here you need NW NDC contact you have to place NDC contacts So this is the NDC contact. Similarly, in the ground, you have to place the substrate contacts or the P well contact. This was poly. This is metal one. So this is the layout. It looks doesn't look good over here but if you draw the layout that is mentioned that is shown in the next lecture you can see exactly how to draw it in magic that is you can use the previous cells here for drawing a nor gate you need not and or gate so this should be a three input or gate so if you have cell if you have the layout of three input or gate you need a not cell and then a three input or gate cell so if you have these two you can construct it that is you have three input a b c then output y which will act as input sorry this is this should be or gate here first and here it should be the here it should be the or gate or gate here should be the not gate so the output of the or y will be the input to the not and the obtain output z will be the output of a three input nor gate so if you have these two cells three input or and not you have done the layout then you can call the command get cell in magic then the cell name and then if you type x if you type x then you can see the inner layout so we can also follow the process of cell instantiation in order to draw the layout of a nor gate